Welcome to Becoming a Cook. Today I want to teach you how to bone out a chicken because it'll save you money, it'll make your food taste better, and it'll help you learn how to become a cook. This is a five and a half pound fryer or young chicken and it's really versatile and it's going to work for most applications that you want to do. Let me walk you through this process. The first thing I'm going to do is take this skin off by the wishbone because I want to expose this area here. I get a good grip on this and then I scrape until the bone's been exposed on both sides. And the reason I do that is I want to take this wishbone out because it'll allow me to get more meat off the carcass when I make the cuts. Sometimes you have to tug on this a little bit to get it out. Next step, what I'm doing here is I'm cutting the skin that's between the leg quarter and the breasts. And there's a little prize in here, chicken liver, that goes in the stock pot. At this point, I want to take off this wing. And I'm going to do this in a way that I can keep these wings and use them for hot wings. So you'll notice there's a joint here and there's a joint in here that you can't see. I want to cut about halfway between those and then I'm just going to bend this back to disjoint this. There's wing number one. I take the tip off and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I want to take the breast off. There's a keel bone right here in the center of this, like a ridge. I feel for that and I lay the knife on my side of that keel bone and I just draw the knife. And my goal is to hit bone here, but not to keep cutting through here because this is just cartilage and it's easier if you don't take that off. From here, you can see the carcass. I want to take my knife and I want to just lay it, the tip on there, and go straight down and through to the cutting board. What that's done is it's separated this wing from the carcass, and from here, I can just give this a little bit of a trim and pull that off. I did a sloppy job of it, so I'm going to save that. On the other side, same thing. Now you can see this keel bone. I'm putting my knife on the other side of it, and this is a sharp knife, which helps. And from here, this is the meat that I'm going to get extra because I took that wishbone out. I'm just going to kind of scoop underneath there. And then once again, the blade just goes against the carcass and straight down to the cutting board. You can see the wing. Just put my knife there. Boom. Two chicken breasts. Turn this over. And... You want to scoop these two pieces of meat, called the oyster, so I'm going to use the tip of my knife and I'm just going to make a little curve around that. You may have noticed that when I had this upright, one of the things I did was I disjointed this leg. It makes it much easier because then when you flip it over, it makes this oyster pop up so you can see it. And also, this has already been separated, so it's easy to put your blade through there. So once again, I'm going to make a little scoop. And then from here, I'm just cutting along the edge of the carcass. There's a little bit of meat on here. And if I wanted to, for instance, I could go for this piece of meat here. My knife is pointing down, not towards my hand. And then under. So that's a nice piece of meat right there. You can buy boneless, skinless chicken breast, boneless, skinless thighs. But you spend a lot more money. This chicken was, I think, $1.69 a pound. You can find them for a dollar a pound. What is a boneless, skinless chicken breast? Like $3.50 a pound or something like that? It's, it's really outrageous. The other thing is you get this exactly the way you want it. So I've got a few more steps until I have boneless and skinless. Let's start with the breasts. So this is the other half of that wing. I want to leave a little bit of meat on here, but not a lot. So I'm just going to give that a cut. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the skin off of this now. I usually just hold it with my blade and pull that skin off. You'll notice everything's going in the stock pot that isn't chicken meat that we're saving. This looks like it's a little bit damaged. I wonder if it was freezer burned or something. Don't really love the look of that, so I'm gonna take that off and it's going in the stock pot. 
I did another video on how to bone out a leg quarter so that it's one piece of meat, but we're not worried about that here because we just want the bone and the skin gone. I'm going to pull the skin back, and you notice I use the back of my knife blade just to hold this in place. That way I can keep this knife hand clean. And then this skin, I'll just cut it off. So now you've got a naked leg quarter. This little bit of fat I'm just going to scrape off. And what I typically do here is grab this by the flesh on the inside. You can see it's, the bone is going this way. And I bind this bone, put my knife on it, and I run down until I hit the joint. Then I get another grip, and I want to put my blade just past this joint here, and I go down again. I can hear a bone, and then I slide the knife along the bone till I get to this end. I don't want these sinews and this cartilage down here, so I just make a cut. For the outside of this, I turn it the other way. I've got to be careful with my fingers. There's the cartilage. I want to be on the other side of that, but I'm keeping my fingers away, and I'm just running the knife down. I'm going to get another grip on it, running the knife down. And when I got to cartilage here, I stopped. And then with this last one, I'll hold this on the board with my knife. The bone runs this way. I've got my fingers outside of that bone, so I'm kind of pinching it. And then this knife, I'm going to angle it towards the bone. I'm using the bone as the guide again. I'm running it down here. And then from here, I am just going to, fingers are careful, run that down. So the boneless, so the boneless part of the dark meat ends up looking like this in three pieces while the breast is in one big solid piece. I'll do this other one. One of the added bonuses of this is you always get chicken stock, which I always like to keep on hand. My dogs are very happy because this carcass, after I make the chicken stock, the scraps of meat that are on there, they know that's theirs. So anytime they smell me cooking chicken stock, they hover. And if it's late at night and the chicken stock has cooked and I'm letting it cool, the dogs, especially the old dog, will come and stare at me. Here you can see you've got the wings. I collect these for a party or a Super Bowl or something like that. Those keep very well if you vacuum pack them, which I do. And then with the meat, if I'm going to make a curry, I'll just cut this into chunks, pieces like this size. If I'm going to do a stir fry, I'll take this white meat and I'll slice it. Sometimes you'll see in Asian dishes that it's done with the grain. See those lines? That's the grain. So across the grain would be this way, with the grain would be this way. If I'm going to do a chili, then I just want to cut this in strips that are gonna go into my grinder. I wouldn't call this an easy skill, but I would call it a very, very useful skill. This is one of the most beneficial techniques that you can learn because you've got a lot of options, you've got a lot of versatility. You can cut the chicken exactly the way you want it. If you can bone out a chicken, you're a cook. Thanks for joining me today. I'm becoming a cook.